Hello everyone and welcome back to another beautiful day here actually in Sofia, Bulgaria. It's really quite sunny. So today we decided to go for a little adventure. We're going to go towards the outskirts of town and check out a place called Boyana Church and maybe even check out the mountains because Vitesha Mountains are very close by to that church. So yeah, come and join us on this adventure. For all line. Tomorrow we're going to go too, right? Yeah. So we decided to go with getting a daily transport pass since it seemed more affordable than getting a ticket for each bus that we're catching. So altogether it was 8 lev for 2 daily passes and now we're currently just trying to find our bus stop. We started our journey to Boyana Church excited for the long bus ride ahead as it was going to take us about an hour or so to arrive there by bus. So we caught two buses, Number the first one was number 72 and the second one was number 64. So the bus kind of just dropped us off over here. And yeah, so I guess now the mission is to actually find the church. But the streets are quite nice here. You can see it's been snowing up here because it's quite close to the mountains. We found the church and I got my ticket. It was 10 lev each. So Carlos has vouched to not go inside. So I'm gonna go in and get some shots. So you're already allowed inside the church for 10 minutes. So hoping to get some good footage. Let's go. So funny thing is you're not actually allowed to film inside the church, but I did find it really interesting nonetheless. Uh, there's two layers of fresco paintings, so it's quite an old church. It was built in the 10th century, and I think they did some renovations around 2006 to 2007. So there is some church memorabilia in there, and it states that the Boyana church is from the medieval Bulgarian times. So yeah, it was just really cool to see, and it's quite small inside. So I think if you're interested in that kind of stuff then it's definitely worth it. They even do like paid tours and because you're only allowed 10 minutes inside um, the lady actually said that I could ask any questions I wanted. Um, I didn't have any questions, they had a lot of written down information. So yeah, it's definitely really interesting and it's a part of Bulgaria's history. And it's actually an UNESCO heritage site and it's one of the two most popular UNESCO heritage sites in all of Bulgaria. This is uh, the neighborhood kind of close to where the Boyana church was. We can see there's lots of icy roads here and there's even a few hikes. We're getting lots of nice views of the city up here actually. So maybe we don't have to go to the mountains. We didn't quite make it to the Vitesha Mountains as the bus was going to take us another couple of hours to get there. Luckily we stumbled across an interesting view from the mall. It wasn't the mountainous view I had planned on but it was definitely very cool. Looking over Sofia we could see all the buildings reminiscent of the Soviet times. So this is what the inside of a Bulgarian mall looks like. It's pretty big this one. It's a Friday so that's the reason for it being empty. And this is just like your typical underground passageway to get to the other side of the road. And they have lots of little stores inside. So there's a bakery there and some clothing stores, fruit and veggie. So you can find everything underground. take a walk in this neighborhood yeah maybe so we had just randomly decided to take this random tram to the last stop and it was funny because everyone at the end just got off the tram and we were just still sitting there because <laughs> we didn't know it was the last stop and this guy was like hey and we were like oh <laughs> <It was laughs> <Shoot. so fucking laughs> but I think 
it's so funny because out of all the things that I had done, had planned to do today, that actually ended up being the highlight of our day. Yes. Just sitting on some tram, staring out a window, looking people at people watching. Yeah, people watching, just looking at random things. But um, yeah, it was actually really quite entertaining. So show them this neighborhood. Yeah, we're in this um, really local neighborhood right now. Uh, he's a we obviously in... where the the real Sophia people live. So we don't even know where we are, but just decided to keep exploring. So yeah, there's lots of little houses that look like this. And it's quite interesting. The temperatures started to drop quite a lot now since the sun's gone down so I think we're gonna head home and just take the same tram that we took to get here I guess so lucky seven on we get I guess we gotta press the button yep. back on the tram are you ready <laughs> Too. It's the Bulgarian yogurt bears. Yeah, one of this, one of this. Yes, one of this. Yeah, what do you want? So we just found this street food pizza place and we got these two gigantic slices of pizza and two Prague bears for about seven lev, I think it was. And this is the view right on the side of the street here and you can get some sauces as well if you wanted. So yeah, it's quite cool. And it's very close to Vitasha Boulevard. I think it was 180 lev and it was so filling. They're like the pizza that you get at Domino's, like the deep dish ones. And then the bears were 180 lev each. So I think that was a really good deal because it's just like a whole meal itself. We just got to McDonald's and Carlos ordered literally the smallest coffee. So we had seen. to use the toilet. Yeah, we had to use the toilet. So we ordered something. I asked for a small coffee, look what I got. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Put it next to your head so we can see. A midget coffee. <laughs> and how much was it? Uh, one left fifty. Oh yeah, so, so like, like eighty cents. Eighty cents. Not bad. Not bad. Some of our favorite travel days have been spontaneous and usually involve exploring local streets and finding a simple place on the side of the road to enjoy people watching from. After traveling for two years straight, we've come to realize that although the top attractions can be quite cool, they're not what makes or breaks a trip. It's usually the experiences and the people we meet along the way. It's finding something interesting in the ordinary, such as catching a tram to its last stop, or just eating pizza while having a yarn and a beer. Although we travel and our lives may seem glam to some, we are simple people and it's the small things that make our day. So I encourage you, when you're watching this and wishing that you were somewhere else, or waiting for the next best thing to happen in life, to think about something small that made your day. P.S. Who else has caught a bus or a train to a random stop? And where did you go? I'd love to hear your stories so leave me a comment below. Also, to continue watching our travels in Bulgaria, you can click on the playlist above. <laughs>